Today's lesson is too good to be true: the tempting tricks of online shopping scams. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger. Hello, I'm Kiki. And today we're going to talk about something called online scams. A scam, of course, is when somebody tries to cheat you. Of course, there are different ways to scam people. A scam can be a noun or it can be a verb to scam someone to try to cheat them. Or you got to be aware of scams. In that case, scam is a noun. Right, and there are lots of different scams besides online shopping. There are also phone scams. Sometimes you'll pick up the phone and the other person will say, "Hey, I have your child." Give、oh, me、no. blah 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 money, and then you can have your child back, and your child turns out to be sleeping right next to you. Exactly. So that's an example of a scam, and there are many ways in which people try to scam you out of your money. And sometimes, of course, you see an offer online that looks like it's too good to be true. Which means it looks like a really good deal, but you better be careful. Don't fall for those tricks, because they have these tempting tricks when they try to do these online shopping scams. So let's begin our lesson right now by listening to the first part, and we'll come right back to discuss it. Too good to be true: the tempting tricks of online shopping scams. Imagine you're on social media. When you see your favorite brand of shoes advertised for 80% off, clicking the ad takes you to what looks like a typical online store. So you pay for the shoes and then wait for them to arrive. More than a week later, though, they still haven't been delivered. Finally, curious about the delay, you try to visit the store's website again, but the link no longer works. That's when it hits you. You've been tricked by an online shopping scam. 大家好，第一部分首先来看标题的单字 tempting。这个形容词意思为诱人的或是吸引人的。例如 ，The desserts sitting on the kitchen table looked very tempting. 放在厨房桌上的甜点看起来非常诱人。或者 ，The new job offer was tempting, but John decided to stay where he was for now. 这个新的工作机会很吸引人。但 John 决定暂时留在现在的公司。再来介绍名词 scam， 它是诈骗或是诈欺的意思。例如 ，Those people were caught running scams that claimed they offered quick money for very little work。那些人被抓到在进行诈骗，声称不用费什么功夫就能很快得到一笔钱。或是 ，Robbie lost all his pension because of the scam。Robbie 因为诈骗失去了他所有的退休金。All right. Let's talk about the first part of today's article. Imagine you're on social media when you see your favorite brand of shoes advertised for 80% off. So you're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram because we know nowadays when you're scrolling through social media, there's always these very eye-catching ads, and usually they'll have a link down below, and then you see, oh, that's something I really want to buy, and you click into it. But it turns out it might not actually be what you think it is. Exactly. So you see this advertisement online, and it's for your favorite brand of shoes, maybe Nike or Adidas or whatever. And of course, you are very attracted to that offer. It could be tempting, as it says in the title. There, it looks like something you'd really like to check out. Like, ooh, that piece of chocolate cake looks tempting. I think I'll have it, even though I'm on a diet. But in this case, you see an ad. For your favorite brand of shoes, and it's only eighty percent off. It's only twenty percent of the complete price, which sounds too good to be true. And clicking the ad takes you to what looks like a typical online store. So you pay for the shoes and then wait for them to arrive. So you see the advertisement, and of course, if you want to access the information in the advertisement, you click. On something in the advertisement, and that takes you to an online store. It looks legitimate, so of course you go ahead and order the shoes with your credit card or line pay or whatever, and then you eagerly await that package to arrive in the mail. More than a week later, though, they still haven't been delivered. So you've gone onto this online store, you've paid for the shoes, and then you've been waiting and waiting. They should be here by now, but it's been more than a week, and you still haven't received your package. 
Exactly, that could happen sometimes. Of course, we need to take into account the fact that maybe the item needs to be shipped from overseas or something like that, and, and has to clear customs or whatever. But a week might seem a little long, and of course, if it's two weeks, then you might think that something is wrong here. And yes, indeed, the shoes haven't arrived yet. They haven't been delivered. And finally, curious about the delay, you try to visit the store's website again, but the link no longer works. So curious about the delay. You're curious, or you're wondering about the delay. Why is there this delay? Why is it taking so long to get my shoes? So as a result of that curiosity, you visit the store's website again, but you find that the link to that website no longer works. You're just stuck at the original site you're at, and it just doesn't take you anywhere. That's when it hits you. You've been tricked by an online shopping scam. So when it hits you, you realize that you've been tricked. They've lied to you. This website you thought was legitimate. You thought this website was real. You've paid them, and you didn't receive what you thought you were buying. So you realize that you've been tricked. You've been tricked by a website, by an online shopping scam. Exactly. So in this sentence, we've got the word "hit," and that does not mean it comes and strikes you and hurts you and causes damage. But when something hits you in this context, it means you suddenly realize that this is the case. It finally hit me that I had won the golf tournament. I couldn't believe it at first, but then it finally hit me, and I realized, wow, I actually did win this tournament. And here, of course, it hits you. You realize that you've been tricked. You've been scammed by an online shopping scam, and you feel stupid. You feel cheated, and you feel very embarrassed indeed. So let's move on now to the next part of our lesson. We'll listen to it first, and then we will break it down for you. With the rising popularity of online shopping, it's hardly surprising that online shopping scams have also grown in number. But did you know that in 2020, 38% of all scams reported worldwide were online shopping scams? Sometimes the scam website looks identical to a trusted one, complete with logos and everything. Other times, it's an entirely original website for a company you've never heard of. Either way, victims typically visit these websites through misleading search engine links or social media ads. 第二部分，我们看到形容词 identical， 意思是极为相似的或是一模一样的。例如 ，That T-shirt is identical to the one that my sister bought in Japan. 那件 T-shirt 和我姐在日本买的那件一模一样。或是我们说 ，Despite her best efforts, Ariel couldn't get an identical score to the one from last time. 即使用尽全力 ，Ariel 还是无法得到跟上次一样的分数。接下来介绍片语 complete with。它的意思是包括点点点的，或是配有点点点的。例如 ，I bought a collection complete with the musicians' rare recordings and live bootlegs. 我买了一张精选集，内含这位音乐家的稀有录音室作品和未公开发行的现场录音。或者 ，The computer package is complete with a keyboard and a monitor. It should be just what you need. 这组电脑配备完整，包含键盘和屏幕，应该足够你所需。再来是动词 mislead， 有误导、使误信或是欺骗的意思。在课文中 ，misleading 为现在分词做形容词用，表示误导人的。我们可以说 ，The company was fined for airing misleading advertisements。该公司因播放误导人的广告而被罚款。又或者说 ，Many people were misled into thinking that the man was a famous actor。许多人被误导那名男子是知名演员。Let's continue with part two of what it's like to be scammed by online shopping. With the rising popularity of online shopping, it's hardly surprising that online shopping scams have also grown in number. 
So when something has grown in number, it means that something has increased over time. So the number has grown over time, and that means that online shopping scams have grown a lot. So in recent years, because we see lots of advertisements, and it's so easy to just start a website, it's so easy to start an account. People just scam people; they trick people and try to sell them things. So that means that all these Scams have really grown in number. Their numbers have increased, and it's a lot easier to get scammed. This is an interesting phrase here. You would think that we're using numbers here, but、uh, we actually just use the singular form here in this particular phrase to grow in number. That just means to increase in the amount of something. The number of young people who go bowling has increased in number. More and more young people are going bowling all the time. It's a new fad these days to go bowling, and in this. Particular case, those online shopping scams have grown in number. They have increased. But did you know that in 2020, 38% of all scams reported worldwide were online shopping scams? So there are different、uh, places where you can be scammed. You can be scammed at tourist sites when you're traveling. You can be scammed by phone, as you mentioned earlier, Kiki. But、uh, in this particular case, we got quite a few scams reported worldwide. They were online. They were online shopping scams where people saw this advertisement and they fell for it. So, out of all the different types of scams, 38 percent were online shopping scams. That's a really big number. Sounds pretty big, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So you should be aware if you're doing online shopping, and sometimes a scam website looks identical to a trusted one, complete with logos and everything. So yes, indeed. Sometimes when we're online shopping, we see their website and we think, hmm, it looks legitimate. It looks real. And we think it looks identical to a trusted website, maybe to a website that we've seen before. If something's identical, it is exactly the same. Okay, so of course this makes me think of identical twins. For example, some women give birth to babies that look exactly alike; they are identical. And this website looks identical to a trusted one, complete with logos and everything. So when you click into the scam website, let's say you clicked into Adidas or Nike, and this link looks exactly the same. You can't even tell that it's not real because even the logos on the website, the design of the website, and everything else looks exactly the same. So logos are symbols or small designs used by a person or an organization to identify who they are or identify their products. So when you see A logo. When you see the golden arches, you know that that's McDonald's. When you see a check mark, you know that it's Nike. So those are logos. And here we have the phrase "complete with." Usually, this phrase means to have a particular feature or equipment that is designed into the whole thing. So, for example, the house is fully furnished, complete with kitchen appliances. So this house that you have walked into, it has all the furniture and even all the things that you would use in the kitchen. So you've gone to a website. It looks legitimate. It looks identical to a trusted website. It's complete with logos, and at other times. It's an entirely original website for a company you've never heard of, and、uh, either way, no matter whether it's the trusted website or a new one, victims typically visit these websites through misleading search engine links or social media ads. So, if something's misleading, that means it kind of gives you false information. It kind of makes you think incorrectly about something. For example, you might analyze some statistics on sales trends, but、uh, someone may say. Well, those statistics are misleading. They don't take into account the market in Asia, for example. It's only looking at North America. So yes, those statistics are misleading. They're not giving you the whole picture. But of course, we're going to give you the whole picture by moving on to the third and final part of our lesson for today. Let's listen first. Widespread and designed to look authentic, scam sites may sound scary. But fear not, you can protect yourself by learning how to identify these frauds. 第三部分我们看到 widespread 这个形容词的意思是广泛的或是普遍的。例如 
The tornado caused widespread devastation. 那个龙卷风造成了大范围的破坏，或是 malnutrition and starvation are widespread in this area. 营养不良和饥荒现象普遍存在于该区域。最后介绍形容词 authentic， 它指的是真的、真正的、真实的，也可以是道地的意思。例如 ，The collector owns several authentic Roman coins. 作为收藏家，拥有数枚货真价实的罗马硬币。又或者说 ，The restaurant serves authentic Peruvian cuisine. 该餐厅供应道地的秘鲁料理。另外补充这个字的反义词为 counterfeit, c o u n t e r f e i t, counterfeit, 意思是仿造的或是假冒的。例如 ，Anyone trying to enter the stadium with counterfeit concert tickets will be reported to the authorities. 任何试图以伪造的演唱会门票进入会场的人，皆会被通报给官方。最后一个例子。Some counterfeit designer bags have found their way into night markets. 一些仿冒的名牌包已透过管道流入夜市中。And we're back with the final and third part of today's article. Widespread and designed to look authentic, scam sites may sound scary. They may sound scary because these websites are designed to look authentic, to look real. So you never know what you're really clicking into, and also because nowadays these scam sites are so common, they're very widespread. So widespread is to distribute or spread out some information or something over a large area or over a large number of people. So if you want to spread a message, you want it to be as widespread as you could because you want to get your message to as many people as possible. So these scam sites are very widespread because they could be advertised on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So a lot of people can see. These websites, and then they look into it. They click into it because they look authentic. And when something is authentic, it is its original form that you can't argue with. Usually, it's not a copy, and you'll think that it's very genuine. So, when something looks authentic, you think that it looks real. Exactly. Like,、uh, for example, I saw a painting in the museum, and it was an authentic Cezanne painting. So I was amazed by that painting. It was the real thing. But my My friend had a Cezanne painting at home, but it was a fake. It was a copy. It was not authentic. I could tell the difference between the two. And again, we've got these scam sites that are widespread. They're all over the place. They're all over the world. Just like support for the death penalty here in Taiwan, it's widespread. Most people support the death penalty here in Taiwan. It's widespread. And yes, indeed, these websites are widespread. They're all over the place. They're all over the world, and they are designed to look authentic. Of course, they want to trick people. They don't want to make them look fake. But fear not. You can protect yourself by learning how to identify these frauds. So fear not. That's just a, a unique way of saying, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Right, and these sites might be scary to us because for some people they might not be able to tell because of how legitimate the websites look. But there are ways that we can learn how to see if these websites are real or not. So you can protect yourself by learning how to identify these frauds. So to identify something is to establish or indicate. If someone or something, if they're real, it's to recognize something. So, if you want to identify a person, for example, Roger has glasses. So that's a way that I'm identifying him. And in order to identify something, sometimes we have to look at the details to try to find some distinction to help us decide what something is. Exactly. So you want to just determine who or what something is. 
For example, if you knock on someone's door and they're not familiar with you, they may ask you, "Hey, who are you? Identify yourself. Tell me who you are and why you're here." And yes, indeed, you can protect yourself by learning some tricks and tips on how to identify these frauds. And here we've got the word fraud, which refers to deceitful behavior. You are deceiving people in order to have financial or personal gain. So, for example, you might get in trouble for bank fraud if you try to set up an account in someone else's name and then steal all the money or something like that. That would be. An example of bank fraud, and of course, there are many other kinds of fraud as well. One of the most common fraud in Taiwan is credit card fraud. So people they might pick up somebody's credit card and then they will go and buy stuff with other people's credit cards. So this happens a lot in Taiwan. So we have to be careful and watch out for where we keep our credit cards. Indeed. So you got to watch out for frauds, and of course you need to identify those frauds. You need to determine whether something is fake or whether it is authentic. And we wish you the best of luck with that. I simply avoid buying things online, mainly because I wear pretty large size clothes, and I like to go to clothing stores in person to try them on. I seldom order clothing or other items online. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Let's listen now to Hanny. Finally, curious about the delay, you try to visit the store's website again, but the link no longer works. 最后，你好奇为什么会延迟，试着再次造访该商店的网站，但是链接已经失效了。那我们看到句子里面，他用到 curious about the delay。逗号 ，you try to 点点点，这个句子的结构简单来说就是形容词，逗号，主词加动词。那其实这样的结构是经过省略简化而来的。我们来看看它的省略过程哦。原本的句子啊，可以写作 you are curious about the delay and you try to 点点点。前后子句的主词都是 you。那么当前后子句的主词相同时，其实可以省略其中一个主词，还有省略连接词 and。所以这边呢，我们就是先省略连接词 and， 然后省略掉前半句的主词 you， 把动词 are 改成现在分词 being。所以刚刚的句子就变成 being curious about the delay， you try to 点点点。所以这个前半句呢，就是以分词 being 开头的分词构句了。不过，当分词是 being 的时候，通常会省略，省略之后就变成课文的句子。下次同学们啊，如果有看到形容词逗号主词加动词的句型结构时，就要记得这个形容词是由分词构句省略 being 而来的。那这个形容词所修饰的对象就是后面那一句的主词。我们造个例句 ：Upset, she locked herself in her room. 她很不高兴，把自己锁在房间里。好，那我们接着看到课文第二部分最后一句，他提到受害者通常是透过误导性的搜寻引擎连接，或是社群媒体广告进入这些网站。文中是用 misleading 来描述误导性的误导人的，它是用 mislead 的现在分词来当形容词用。那么 mislead 是由字首 m i s 表示错误的，然后加上字根 lead， 它表示带领引导。合在一起 ，mislead 就有误导，使产生错误想法的意思。我们就顺便来学一下 m i s 这个字首哦。这个字首它可以表达不好、错误、缺乏等等那种否定啊，或是不适宜的意思。这个字首跟动词结合的时候，三态变化跟原本的动词相同。像 mislead， 我们以它来当例子 ，lead 的动词三态是 lead、led、led。那么 mislead 它的动词三态就会是 mislead, misled, misled。那我们也来补充几个有相同字首的单字，像第一个 misunderstand， 它就是由 mis 错误加 understand 了解理解，就会得到 misunderstand 误解误会。misquote 它是由 mis 
错误的、不当的，加上 quote 引用引述，所以 misquote 就有错误引用的意思。mishandle 这个 miss 表示不好、不当 ，handle 是处理，所以合在一起 mishandle 就是对什么处置不当。还有 mistrust 这个 miss 表示缺乏 ，trust 是信任，所以合在一起 mistrust 就是表达猜疑、不信任的意思喽。那以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天的单字吧。Tempting. Since he's trying to eat less sugar, Ralph was glad that none of the desserts were very tempting. Identical. June's dress was almost identical to the one worn by the movie star at the award show. Mislead. The salesman tried to mislead the customer by providing incorrect information about the product's features. Widespread. When he ran for class president. Dennis was pleased to find widespread support among his classmates. Authentic. In spite of the owner's claims, Ellen wondered if the painting was truly an authentic work of Van Gogh. Identify. The police used video from the security camera to identify the suspect. Fraud. Greg was charged with bank fraud after using stolen personal information to open an account in someone else's name. 